exactly like the first one. They are the same, except the second one was built by us, the Grasping Company. Mr. Grasping, you mean our rocket is just as good as theirs? Well, not exactly. It looks just as good, but it has a few bugs in it here and there. Well, that's bad. It means they'll get all the orders. Mean Eyes, you're a fool to think that I've given up. I admit that the spy I hired missed a few details of the ship. After all, stealing so many technical plans is tough. Mm -hmm. Does that mean they have us licked, boss? Will you quit talking like that? Of course we're not licked. I've got a diabolically clever plan. Look at the way their rocket, the S-17, performs. You know why we can't do that with ours? Why, Mr. Grasping? Why? Because we're missing two things. A staff of honest engineers and a terrific test pilot. There he is, Rocky Slipstream, the hottest test pilot in the business. He works for the teamwork company. Not only is he the only one who can fly one of these rockets, he knows the few little secrets we need. If they lost him... Yeah, boss, yeah? Nobody else would even try to fly that rocket. I'd sure like to try to fly that rocket. Don't make me laugh, kid Swifty. I'll let you try cleaning the windshield, though. I know I can do it. To what? Clean my windshield? <laughs> you certainly can't fly this rocket, fresh kid. Only Rocky Slipstream can fly that thing, and you know it. You've got to give me a chance. He's so mean that one of these days I'll forget my manners and say something nasty. Oh, come in. The ship does everything you ask her to. I watched you put her through her paces. Couldn't have gone better, boss. There's just one little thing that's annoying me. Annoying you? Well, whatever it is, Rocky, take care of it. It's Kid Swifty. Whenever I'm not around, he's always fooling around with the rocket controls. Boy, to think of being in space at the speed of Mach 17. I've been studying these controls ever since they built this ship. Let's see. Hey, caught you, sneak. Ooh. You know I didn't damage it. Just keep out of that ship, I'm warning you, or I guarantee you'll be sorry. I didn't harm anything in there. You don't have to be so rough. You're gonna tell me how rough I should be, huh? You need a lesson. Okay, try it. You bet I will. You'll learn manners. There. Oh. You're nothing but a bully. Stop it, kid. You, you mustn't upset Rocky. You'll cause an accident. Go on. Get out of here. I was only trying to learn what... I don't care what you were doing. You're wrong and he's right now. Go away. Okay, I'll go. But someday I'll be a better pilot than Rocky. You'll see. That grasping outfit hasn't got a chance. We've got the best ship and the best pilot. Seconds and I'll have 
point eight, reading Mach 10, holding at Mach 10 for entry into space. I'm in outer space. I've broken the gravity barrier. Hey, Hold everything. Terrific vibration. It's shaking. What? Well, what's happening? I must abandon ship. Mayday! Mayday! Here I go. engineer of the ship. Can you tell us what went wrong? It might have been anything. The craft was perfect. Perfect? They blew to pieces, Technic. A perfect disaster is what it was. Well, it might not have exploded if someone had stayed at the controls. Technic, you know you're to blame. And you're trying to say that I caused that explosion. I didn't say it, but maybe you feel guilty. Guilty, huh, you phony slide rule failure? I say you abandoned that ship too soon. So that's the way you feel. Then you can fly that ship yourself, Technic. I quit. Wait a minute. Please think it over. I've thought it over plenty, and there's nothing you can say that'll change my mind. I won't stay where I'm not trusted. We trust you, Rocky. Don't walk out. Rocky! I've got news, kid. What news? I'm through with the teamwork company. I just quit. You can't quit now. The big race is next week. You should stay that long anyway. They should have thought of that before they insulted me. I don't care who wins that race. I'm through, hear me? That's a pretty dirty trick, Rocky. Who else could fly that ship? Go in there and tell them that you'll take over as test pilot. Maybe I'll do just that very thing, Rocky Slipstream. You're funny, kid. You're too soft to fly. Forget it. <laughs> Are you all right? With the trouble this company's in, and you ask me if I'm all right? I'm a sick man. One of our ships explodes, our test pilot quits, and I'm sick. Sir, I know our ship. It wouldn't have exploded unless somebody planned it. You mean the grasping company, don't you? Well, that ship checked out perfectly. And they're the only ones who would do a thing like that. Hmm, that makes sense. I'll call the Metropolitan Crime Prevention Bureau. Chief Fumblethumbs, please. At that very moment, I was on my way to Chief Fumblethumb's office. Hey, do you have to cause a hurricane whenever you show up? When I heard about that rocket explosion, I thought you'd need help. Well, you could look into it. The teamwork company seems to think that the grasping company sabotaged their ship. I think I should be Tobor, the human detective for this job. Good idea, Mr. Tobor. You're getting your chance. Gee, this new model is even easier to handle than the first one was, Mr. Bouncer. Now, just don't get overconfident, young fellow. You haven't got much experience. I know how to handle her, Mr. Bouncer. I'll do the job. I'm putting my confidence in you, Kit Swifty. And just to be sure there's no sabotage, I've hired Mr. Tobor, the private detective, to help us. Glad to join the team. Nice to have you, sir. I see this craft can do better than Mach 15. The G-pressure must run pretty high. You must have a lot of stamina, young man. I've been in training for it. You know, you sound like you know what you're talking about. I'm glad that you're on the job. Time for your test flight. I'll be watching. Good luck. Fine boy. Just to make sure of his luck, I'll be ready to become eighth man. I certainly hope that Tobar can stop the sabotage. I'll say this, just having him around gives me confidence. How's the flight? Get Swifty in Model 2. Flight going beautifully. Steady climb with acceleration now passing Mach 10. Approaching edge of outer space. Continuing climb. The kid's doing fine. This is the critical point. This is where number one blew up. Wish me luck. I'm going on. Maybe he'd better not try it this time. I kind of wish he had more experience as a pilot. In the control tower, this is it. About to break gravity. Mach 14 and accelerating. Better get ready to land. You've done a good enough job. Model 2 to control tower. It's okay, boss. Everything's fine up here. I'm going on into space. Stand by. We're breaking all records. Close to Mach 15. Controls all functioning perfectly. Congratulations to Technic. 
I'm just not sure that ship can take much more. I'm going to see how much more the ship can take. I'm feeding her more power. What a thrilling ride! Come back, kid! I order you to cut power and land that ship! I'm breaking gravity. Bring that ship down! Do you hear me? That model is thick with outer space! It can't take that avenue! He doesn't answer me at all! He's in trouble. I think I have the feeling it was sabotage again. The kid might be unconscious up there right now. Heading into space! Some sort of trouble. I had had Rocket Model 3 warmed up and ready. I wasted no time getting into the air. Made the top speed. Only human being could stand this acceleration. It's the only way to catch kids with me. I catch up with him, I'll have to jump over to his ship. There he is. And he is unconscious. Well, now to match speeds with his ship. I've got to work fast. Boy is in real trouble. Now then, speeds are equalized. Accelerate just enough to pull alongside. There we go. Now I've got to be carefully balanced on the jump so I won't throw him off course. Now. Swifty, wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Hurry, boy. You have to take control. Huh? What? Now that you're wide awake, I think you can manage to bring the ship into a safe landing, Swifty. Gee, I've heard about Eighth Man, of course. Now I've met him. It was Eighth Man, all right. And I tell you, he got there in the nick of time. Indeed. Well, I've heard of Eighth Man, but I always thought he was just a legend. Now I'm glad he's real. Anyway, Kid Swifty, you proved that you're a capable, courageous flyer. From now on, you're our chief test pilot. Thanks, Mr. Bouncer, but I sure wish Eighth Man had stayed around so I could thank him, too. This rocket looks great. I'd sure like to try flying it one of these days. You! During the days that followed, that young man impressed me with his progress as a pilot. He also impressed mean eyes. <laughs> I noticed that boy's becoming a pretty good pilot. Well, that may be. You can be sure he'll never be in a class with me, though. Hey, he's walking right over this way. Rocky Slipstream. How are you? Fine, kid. I'm doing real well. Hey, that's a grasping company uniform. So that's it, huh? So I work for that grasping company, so what? That explains a lot of things around here, Mr. Slipstream. You got paid off. They wanted the best pilot, kid. They sure didn't want you. You're just jealous, Sonny, because nobody will ever try to hire a dumb kid like you. I think they were paying you while you were working with us, and that you know what caused that first accident, too. You never learned. I walloped you once before, and I think you need another lesson in manners, kid. Hold it. Oh, another wise guy. No, not a wise guy, just a private detective doing my job. Oh, yeah? I don't like private detectives. I can't reveal I'm eighth man. You cowardly bully. I'm okay, kid. Don't waste your strength. You'll need it for the big race. Yeah, we'll settle this in the air, kid Swifty. Let's go, kid. I think you'll be sorry he hit me. I really do. Oh, boy, is my hand sore. It feels as if I hit a chunk of solid steel. <laughs> That kid, Swifty, has turned out to be too good a pilot. And after that investment you made in Rocky Slipstream, the kid is liable to beat him in that big race. Well, I want you to see to it that the kid doesn't show up for that race. Easy, boss. He drives a sports car. Get it? Mean eyes, you just get it done. Kid Swifty enjoyed taking a drive in his sports car each evening. I knew about it, of course. So when Mean Eyes planned his trap, he had calculated without knowing that I would be nearby, watching and ready. Swifty, 
once and for all. <laughs> Detective Tobor is missing too. Tobor and the kid, the two people I really need desert me when I really need them. Hello there, having troubles? Go away, Rocky. Where's your little hero, fellas? He's scared maybe, so he just conveniently disappeared. You're crazy, Rocky. Crazy, am I? Well, where is your boy then, Mr. Bouncer? <laughs> you get away from me, you traitor! Take it easy. Remember your blood pressure. Tower to aircraft. Prepare for blast off. Clear runways. 180 seconds and counting. What are we going to do without a pilot? We're washed out. Sir, <laughs> over there. Huh? Do you see what I see? see? I can't see anything. Over there. The kid! It is Chip Swifty. He made it. We're in this race after all. That's my boy! Yes, sir! <laughs> Yahoo! My boy! We'll win it after all! Win it. If I have my way, that kid won't even finish the race. Kid Swifty is piloting the teamwork rocket. I thought you made sure we were rid of him. Of course I got rid of him, boss. That must be his double. Can I trust you to do anything? I tell you, I saw him go over the cliff. Don't lie to me. <laughs> No need to get rough. I've arranged to take care of them during the race. All craft in position. Field is clear. Ready for blast off. 20 seconds and counting. Fitz, I must make good. I'll win any way I can. Eighth man will be watching, son. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Rocket 
bandit again. What will he pull now? Try these twin missiles. I can't get both. Have to put my brain radio on the kid's frequency. You can pull out of a dive faster than that missile, kid. So dive. Good boy. He understood me. Now from this student. Back where you came from. I hear you, son, and I'm standing by. I made it! I made it! Beekman, you were right! You're on your own now, kid. Congratulations, kid. You did a really fine job. I owe it all to Eighth Man. By the way, where were you when all the excitement was going on, Mr. Telvor? I didn't see you around. I was watching all the time. Watching, eh? Well, anyway, it worked out okay. Eighth Man was watching, too. And I owe him my life. I walked quietly away. There was nothing I needed to say. That young man, in expressing his gratitude, had at the same time clearly outlined my continuing responsibility. There's a prehistoric monster who came from outer space Created by the Martians to destroy the human race The FBI is helpless, it's 20 stories tall What can we do, who can we call? Call no more